Hi, this is Neve. I'm going to show you how to add a serial record to Koha. To do this, you log in with your staff credentials to the Koha client. Click on cataloging and then you want to select new from Z3950 slash SRU. We're using the serials, print journals and periodicals framework. And it should open up. frame for us and we go across into the Excel sheet and select a title. So in this instance I am going to select the ISSN of the journal and I am going to put it into the ISSN field. We're using Z3950 to get the data we're querying these locations and we're going to search. This may take a few minutes to come in. Um, normally we would search a limited number of locations because the number of locations you search increases the length of time it takes for the result to return. The uh, Access to the, the National Library of Ireland is intermittent, so sometimes it times out. So we can see here there's actually a record for this already on our system, or there's one in Oxford, Trinity, the British Library, and the Library of Congress. The easiest way to identify a journal is it should have a 022 in the additional fields field. Um, the record you pick will hopefully have a class number, but not have electronic resource in the 245H, because that's the electric or online version of the journal. Okay. So in this instance, I'm not going to download anything at the moment. I'm actually going to go and check for this on the system and check and see if the title or the bibliographic record is actually complete enough. I'm checking this by doing a search the catalog for it. So if I click submit on that, it brings me up that it's available in Dr. Stevens as reference only, not available for loan, and it's a journal. So if I edit the record, I should see the date and most of what I would be looking for is there. So my option is then I move it onto the serials framework and save it. If there's any empty fields it will tell you. So we can save it without a 005 which is one of the leader fields and an 040 so that's the HSE OCLC library code. So if we go to tab zero, these are actually highlighted in, in yellow. And we just copy this. Now when we save, we have our record. If the series comes up or something else funny looks up you need to go back into the record so this is 490 field this is the 300 field um, but we have our media type our ISSN and our subjects it's a in as a periodical and if we go in and edit the record for the 300 and the 490 which are both probably on there's the 300 so we just put in v and for the 490 i think it's on tab three and that should be print journal collection save 
Now, when we view it in the OPAC by clicking on Open in a New Window, we can see this print journal collection. We have all the bits and pieces we want, and we have an item entry for Dr. Stevens. Now, that's not in the same format as the other records. So, we're going to attach an item. And we're going to use the information here on the Excel sheet to populate out those. So Port Leash has volume 6, 1998 to volume 16, 2010. So that looks like um, we don't need our 1350 search. We can close it at this stage. And we're going to get items. So this is add item, even though the instruction said edit item. So the withdrawn status should be uh, the use restrictions, there's no restrictions, or it's restricted, whichever. It's not for loan. Print journal collection. This one is for Midland Regional Hospital, Port Leash. It's so pre-2020. We have our call number in. Um, our item type is print journal as serials, journals, periodicals. And the public note is, let me, that. let me double check that, I can't remember now, is that busy dog? Six, one, nine, nine, eight, sixteen, twenty, ten. A six. Uh, one nine 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 eight dash and so on.